Well, new year, new leader for Harper Community College. We have Dr. Teresa Felder. She is the school's new president and she is new to Maryland as well as Midday Maryland. How are you? I'm very good, Elsa. So good to be with you today. We are happy to have you here. Tell us a little bit about your background. Sure. Uh, I am originally from the state of New York. I grew up in the Hudson Valley and uh, finished my bachelor's degree upstate New York in accounting and then met my husband during that time. And he was a, at the Air Force Base upstate New York. And so we traveled a bit with the military and I started my accounting career uh, before we eventually relocated to Ohio, which was his hometown. Mm -hmm. uh, and during that time, I started my own consulting business and the community college, the local community college was one of my clients. Yeah. And so while I was doing some uh, work for them, I discovered the mission of a community college and just fell in love yes. uh, and decided to change my career. I went back to college, got a master's degree, a doctorate degree, and just progressively moved through uh, leadership roles there uh, until I was ready for a presidency. And so here I am today. And here you are, we are lucky and happy to have you here. I know that this pandemic has highlighted just how valuable a community college education can be. Talk about the benefits for students and for communities in general. Absolutely, of course, community colleges are all about the community. And uh, the benefit of a community college for, for anyone is that it offers a high quality affordable education. So Harford Community College in particular, we have over 80 uh, degree and certificate programs that we offer. And so those programs are intended to uh, either provide the first two years possibly of a bachelor's degree, or uh, for those who wanna go directly into the workplace, you can get a short-term credential uh, all the way to a two-year degree that leads right into high demand career field. So from a community perspective, community colleges are all about developing the workforce. And let's highlight some of the programs that you're particularly proud of because there are several. <laughs> yes, yes, absolutely. So we're very proud of the work that we're doing in Edgewood. A couple years ago, the college did a feasibility study and we found that there was a great need around the Route 40 corridor to provide some additional training. And though we have this beautiful campus in Bel Air, we also knew that there were students that could not get to us. So they were not accessing higher education. So we brought education and training to that part of the county. So we're very excited about the partnerships that we've had with the public library to offer training. Our next phase now expands upon that with a generous gift from the Ratcliffe Foundation. We have one and a half million dollars. And so we're starting the Hartford Leading Edge Training Center powered by the Ratcliffe, uh, Ratcliffe Foundation. And we're expanding to offer additional training from manufacturing to forklift training, uh, a number of programs that again are in demand uh, mm -hmm. that serves the workforce needs in that area. So if uh, families have been impacted by the pandemic that might be unemployed or perhaps underemployed, we've got opportunities to serve those families. So we're very, very excited about that program. And can you talk about some of the funding that is available to students who are contemplating going back to school or starting at this community college? Yes, absolutely. We're very grateful for funding that came from the governor's office, and that's the uh, governor's education, emergency education relief fund, some know as GEARS. Uh, that funding allows us, again, to offer significant workforce development related programs uh, for free to um, many of our students. So it includes scholarships, it includes stipends for textbooks and supplies in uh, programs like cybersecurity, uh, some IT uh, technical programs, certif short-term certifications in the health field, uh, certified nurses assistant. Uh, there's a number of programs that students can, again, get short-term quick training and get right into the workplace. And so we're very grateful for the funding that we've received at the state level from the governor's office to provide that training. And there's also a C grant to Student Emergency Assistance Fund, is that correct? That's correct. So the college has always provided emergency funds 
uh, to students. And particularly uh, when the pandemic hit, there was a greater need, as you can imagine, for those emergency funds. So whether that's, I can't pay my rent, I need help with childcare, whatever that need is, transportation issues, we've been able to provide funds so that students can really continue their education and not be hindered by some of those obstacles. Really living up to that idea of community yes. at Harper Community College. Yes. Of course, people are wanting, want to get more information, especially sure. during this time, during this pandemic. I think a lot of people are thinking about different avenues that they can pursue um, with their yes. education and their yes. career. How should they go about doing that? Does that just start by going to the website? Yes, go to our website at www.harford.edu. There's a lot of information there. There's contact information on any program that I've talked about today. You can find information and someone to talk to. So I invite all of your listeners to do that. And I would be remiss if I did not say that my mother actually was a professor at a community college for almost 30 years. So I have a soft spot. I have seen the work that community colleges do nationwide and it really is amazing so we are happy to have you here at thank the you so much of Harvard community college thank you so much thank for you so the show. Much. and we'll be right back with more midday maryland right after this stay tuned 